Last season we got promoted from the Vanarama National North. How are we going to do this season in the Vanarama National League? Well, let's go find out. We start off by going through our transfer window. Who's in and who's out? This is the players that we've got rid of. So Michael Coulson, who will start off first. He was our top goal scorer. Will he be missed? 21 goals and 42 appearances for us. He was just 36 years old and his contract that he was asking for. I have put him on the shortlist just in case. And we've got Joe Cracknell, our goalkeeper. Was he our main goalkeeper? Yes, he was. Again, he was probably just asking for too much. Ryan Quelter, backup defender, then everyone else just wasn't good enough. Uh, Matt Bancroft, he was our backup goalkeeper. Nah, just it was mainly Mo, uh, Michael Coulson and Joe Cracknell who we haven't re signed. Then we go into transfers that we've brought in. Our biggest signing was Remelo Mitchell. I mean, he is on a thousand pounds per week, which down in these leagues is quite high, but I think he's gonna be well worth it. He can play right wing, left wing, up top. His stats look really, really good exciting and he was on free transfer and our other big signing is jack sherrock where majority of our wage budgets going he's another 1000 per week signing he's 17 years old look at those stats for down in this division i think that is brilliant then we didn't have much money left of our budget but we had to bring our goalkeeper we brought in dave richards from crew tom perg from scumfolk joey dawson who's just on a free transfer but again where for stats matter it's all kind of double digits and that's where i'm doing my scouting callum riley defense midfielder joseph johnson for a right back and we haven't sold anyone else staff wise we had to bring in some staff we got rid of head physio fitness coach chief scout physio physio to be fair there was just rubbish we've replaced them with really good staff Catherine chambers head of physio see those stats 15 in physio compared to our previous one Free and physio, awful, but amazing staff to bring in. I think backroom is so important in this game. Again, fitness coach, he was 12 to 13 and just poor stats. So I think I've found some good staff here who's going to just take us to the next level. If physio, seven, new physio, uh, five, not so good, but I think he had better adaptability, which is one of the physio stats. And then chief scout, 11, 11 with adaptability, 17. So pretty, pretty good. We quickly go into some highlights now. This one was a great goal. We drew against Torquay away, not a bad result, but Green gets ball, 30 yard screamer. Look at that, brilliant goal. Then the next highlight is that we played Tamworth for the first time. They won for league, remember, and we came second and had to go down with playoffs. Tamworth, we just struggled playing against, but can we turn that fortune around? Mitchell gets the first goal. We are playing at home on for 18 minutes. 1-0. We've got the ball again. Maloney finds it out to Mitchell. A star player at the moment. Mitchell runs it through. Can he find Charles? And Charles takes the lead to two. And that was it. To be fair, look at those stats. We were all over Tamworth. It was really, really good to get a win against them. Considering that they beat us. Two for league. I'm still happy. I'm still very happy with how I think unfolded last season and it just shows that we're going strength to strength. I get my National A license, which is really, really good. It's progressing. Who knows? How, what has that done to my stats? It's still pretty poor. 12 in Movain. Level of discipline, people management, 8 and 7. What else is good? Tactical, 8. Attacking, defending, 5. Not great, great, but for the level where I think it's good. Now I'm going to ask to start my Continental C license and see if the board lets me. So far they've let me progress this much and nope, they are unwilling. However, despite the board's initial rejection, they are willing to listen. Thing is they're scared, yeah, lead it to a bigger club coming in for your services. We're therefore inclined to say no. Okay, let's discuss it. We understand you would like to discuss your recent requests. We're not sure that we're benefiting right now of this conclusion meeting. So basically they said no, because they're scared that other teams are going to snap us up. I've signed a new contract. Yes, until 2026, a two year deal on £450 per week. Sounds tiny considering how 
much I'm playing my players, like a thousand pound a week. I think I'm average wage. You've just signed a new contract to start Scarborough Athletic foreseeable future. Yeah, I'm delighted. Absolutely. I think it's going really, really well. I can't wait to see what season produces. Deeper delighted to extend Sea Dog stay. Have I become an icon yet? Or is it too early in the day? I'm not even a favoured personnel. Come on. In our last unknown to icon, I got favoured personnel after a season. Or a season and a half. We win the manager of the month for October. So we beat Yeovil 4-2, Eastfleet 1-0. Warsaw 2-1, Bromley 3-2, and Boreham Wood, we drew 1-0. Chairman is, chairperson, should I say, is really happy with what we're doing, obviously. Doing fantastic. And we are second in the table. As you can see, we've played 16, won 10, drew 3, lost 3. And, and that's how it's been unfolding. As you can see, it started off a little bit sluggish, very up and down. But those up and downs have been going up and up. And we are now sitting comfortably in second place. We now show you highlights against first Rochdale. We are away, but let's see how it goes. So sixth minute, we've got the ball. Green finds Wills. Wills can get it in. Oh, it's a save, but Maloney gets a rebound. Was it Maloney or was it Charles? I think it was Maloney. Yes, it was Maloney. We've got the ball again. Green. Green's playing really well for us this season. Can he find Mitchell? No, he finds Maloney. Maloney have a crack. Oh, what a goal. Now, Rochdale's got the ball. We're 2-0 up here. 36 minutes. Rochdale finds it out to, on the left. Crosses it in. And Richards probably could have done better there. It is 2-1. Everything to play for now. 45th minute. Still in for first half. Rochdale finds it past that defender. Thornton just hasn't got the legs. Rodney, he's brought it back 2 all. Wow, we was 2-0 up away from home. And Rochdale somehow found it back. Right, since the first minute, we've got a corner. Maloney couldn't find anyone. Gouda, nope, Maloney comes back. Tier, Tier cracks it. Nope, it bounces around and finds it. Two for feet of Charles and he cracks it in. We are back in front, 3-2. But we are finding that it's going into the 90th minute. And Rochdale's got the ball. Kelly runs it in. And I don't know his name. I can't quite read it. Tinbu, he finds a late equaliser. And we was all over them by the looks of those stats. And we draw against top away. So again, it just shows how well we are doing this season. So 18 games played and we are four points behind Rochdale currently. We go into the FA Cup against Stevenage. I think they're in League One from what I remember. So a really tough game. We are away, but we find the first goal. Wills, beautiful. What a long goalkeeper's name. Rogers, Fribridges, no, we're going to try. You know that I'm rubbish with names. Right, Steven is fine for ball. They find it forward and they equalise. Oh no, 35th minute. Is it all going to go wrong for us? No, nope, it finishes 1-0. So that means we go into the second leg. Now, this time we're at home. Can we beat a League One opposition? Be amazing if we can. Second minute, Borough, Scarborough down for wing. Charles Tier and finds it into Maloney and we go 1-0 up. Again, just like in the first leg. But can we this time keep the lead? Oh, Stephen Edge has got the ball. They cross it in. It's gone really high up. List to Thompson. And they've equalised again, just like in the first leg. Can we use home advantage to our advantage? All right, we've got the ball. What a ball that is. Our right back, Relegi, Relegi to Charles. What a ball. That ball was amazing. So I just keep on saying it. But anyway, we're winning 2 1 and we've got the ball again. 8th, 7th minute. Can we just finalise this victory? And we do. Charles finds the net again. That's got to be it. And it is, to be fair, stats wise, we wasn't all over them, but we get the vital win 3 1 to go to the next round. So now we're in for second round of the FA Cup and we get to play Mansfield, who are in League 2 this time. So funny enough, we are going to jump straight to that game. We are away against Mansfield, FA Cup second round. Can we get to a third round and potentially get a premiership team? That'd be a great dream, right? Mitchell runs it down and gets the first goal. Mitchell continues to be a really good signing for us. Mansfield's got the ball, whips it in. Can we clear it? Well, edgy. No, McDonald's, he's lost it and they cross it in. We don't defend well from crosses or corners. I think that's one of our weaknesses. But Maloney is one of our strengths. And look at that free kick. We go back in for League 2-1 up. Again, remember, we are away. And this is a League 2 opposition. 
Right, Mansfield's got the ball, turns, shoots, Swan, or oh, maybe Richard could have done better. Was he expecting it? It was a good turn, shoot, it's 2 all. Mansfield are back in the game. And funny enough, Mansfield's got the ball, they find it over our defence to Swan. Nice little touch, and he scores 3 2, 92nd minute. There's no way we we're going to come back, but 3 2 against a lead 2 opposition away. It was all over us, to be fair, in stats. My team needed slight improvement. I was having issues with some injuries. I was having some issues with fitness. We know that, obviously, there's been issues with injuries and fitness in the game, much more than what I've experienced in any other football manager. But to be fair, I've tried rotating it. And when I do rotate it, it does affect results because my squad's just not good enough. I mean, I've got some crap youth. I'm trying to use slides. I don't really have a youth team either. Uh, so it is slim pickings. I'm maxed out on my wage budget. I need to bring in some players. I thought the board really likes me. Supports like me. I'm A plus, A plus in both of those areas. Let's ask the board if I can. But if they're not going to give me a coaching badge, let's see if I can get some more money for a wage budget. We nearly have a million pounds in the bank. We have no debt. So why not? I ask and I get. There we go. So I think I've got an extra thousand pounds. I think we're, so that's 13,642. We'll check our budget. I am currently paying 12,700. So I've got 900 pounds to pre either bring in one big player or a couple. I think I'm going to decide to bring in a couple. But as you can see, there you go. As I was talking about before, look, rest, 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 injuries. I mean, it's not big injuries, but I just can't get players to play more than bloody one game. So I identified that I needed a new striker, but I could put Mitchell as a striker. And we've brought in the Margot Wright Phillips, who can play on the left wing or right wing. And he's got good pace about him. He's got some good stats. Again, those double digits where you need it. Fair enough, he's passing and his work rate's not that great. And stamina, he's a free transfer. And he's got some good pedigree of experience. He's played a few games in higher leagues and he's only cost us £700 per week. And we've got him until 2027. Hopefully it works out. We also brought in Will Evans as centre-back. That's something that we was lacking. He's very experienced, 33 years old. His stats look really, really good. And so far he's played a couple of games for us. And again, big, big experience in National League as well. And that's what we need. We need that experience. And again, a great backup, £200 per week. That's it. Our budget is now done. We got given... 900 and we brought in two players so we are now at the halfway point of the season we've played 26 games it is 28th december on our calendar and i want to take you through where we are at and look at some of the key fixtures key results should i say and probably just run through our squad quickly and see how they're performing so since last time i showed you the league we were second and obviously we drew against top we have dropped down a little bit and the reason being our players it's just very hard we just don't have the squad to compete in this league and we are dropping we've only just dropped but it's becoming apparent that i needed to bring in players maybe sooner build up that squad we have it will it last until the end of the season i don't know we've had some good months we've had some good months so just a, from an overall perspective we lost one in august Two in September, none in October, two in November, and then three in December. We got found with our legs, with our minimal squad. We just got found a little bit here. So I'm filtering now. This is, I've put together our best performing 11. And as you can see, only one, two, three, four players don't need to be rested or not injured at the moment. And this is the issue that I'm finding. Yes, our spare squad players, yes, they can come in and play. But they're just not good enough. I mean, look at it. They are two and a half star. you got Wright Phillips. He's just coming. Obviously, he's doing okay. He's got two assists, played three. But obviously, he will come in eventually. Or he's just a backup, which is great to have. But if you look at stars and that, that kind of gives you a depth of what you can do. And our main striker, he's played 25 and he's scored 13. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, Maloney scored 13 and he plays as a the box sometimes as a mozilla so that's how the first half of our season is going in for vanarama 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 national league going pretty well isn't it but that's it i have to finish the series because i have some bad news i was gutted and the news is 
my save has disappeared. Gone, banished from my system. I've tried two kind of like Dr. Disc or whatever it is and another one, the top ones apparently from Google and it can't find it. It cannot find my save anywhere. So I, I just don't know. I have no idea what's happened. I want to know what happens with a save when you delete the save in game because I think maybe maybe when I was doing an editor save and I was doing a test maybe I pressed delete on it but I've never done that before so why would I do it now anyway I've put out a vote to YouTube community and Twitter and they voted for me to start again unemployed so that's what I'm going to do so we'll carry on for series and we just put this down as a WTF. We got to start again, rewind and go. It's just one of those things. I'm really livid. I am completely livid. But I guess, can we do the same with another team? I don't, I'm not going to be Scarborough Athletic again. Even if the job comes up, I will just not apply or turn it down if we get the job. I've been in the North Division twice now last football manager and now this one so i'm kind of heading towards south or going abroad being abroad here with such low experience and having adaptability so low most likely it's going to be south but can we replicate with the same tactics and our know-how now a little bit maybe we can bring in some of the good players that we know use that experience and knowledge and take a troubled team to the top and become an icon well if you like this video hit that like button and if you want to see how we do in our next chapter on the unknown to icon series hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing and i'll see you on for the next one